the highest power of darkness is ignorance. And we can see that ignorance different places today, especially in the life of children of God. Ignorance everywhere. And that is why they become prey in the hand of many people. Many children of God have ended up becoming prey in the hand of so-called preachers. How to find out where God's power is? How to know a place the power of God is at work? I will tell you today. But before we proceed, do me a favor to touch that subscribe button or click to that follow button so that you can be receiving all my updates depend the platform you are watching me from now what is the power of god many people did not understand the meaning of power of god falling down and rising doesn't just end up displaying that god's power is here when a man fall down or when people fall down when they go to church or when they go to ministry or when they go to a particular place does it mean that it's God that pushing them down? No. Satan can also push you down. You remember that child in the Bible that the spirit of epilepsy pushed down. When he saw Jesus, he pushed that boy down. The boy was shaking on the ground, foaming out. You remember that story? So Holy Ghost was not the one that pushed that boy down. It was devil. So falling down and rising up, does not mean that it is God and we must understand that people are ignorant enough that their ignorance of this end time is beyond measure is beyond measure anywhere they go they see people shaking see people falling down they say God is there anywhere they go they see people checking they say God is there and they sometimes we now overlook our eyes from the things that matters most I am not moved when I go to any church or any, any ministry or any place. Even in my own ministry, when people are falling down and rising, I am not moved because there is something that proves God's power in a place. When you go to a place, God's power is at work. The original power, the authentic power of the Holy Ghost is at work. We know it. When we look at the life of a pastor and we can see Jesus inside him through his character, through his preaching, through his message, through everything, he promotes Jesus. Everything he's saying, he's promoting Christ, not he himself. We know that God is there. Number two, when we now look at the life of members that are living righteous, you now look at the members that are righteous born again. They are righteous. They are living a life free from sin. They have conquered sin in their life. Sin has no more power over them. Come on. That is the power of God at work. That is the power of God at work. If I may tell you that a man having money may not be the power of God. I know that God can prosper a man power of God can provide material things. We all know that. But let me tell you how to know the authentic power of God is when the congregation is living a sin-free life. When you can find many true born again in spirit and truth in that place. When people are genuinely born again. That is the power of God. They are living a life free from sin, free from immorality. Not that the chorister is sleeping with their fellow chorister or pastor sleeping with the usher or another person or member sleeping with their fellow members no but these ones are righteous this one are holy unto god these ones are righteous in spirit and in truth that is the power of god that is the power of god because what people 
value today as God's power is when somebody fall down and rise up. Is when somebody come to church or go to a ministry and get billions automatically. When somebody begin to control billions and millions, they say, "Oh God is using that man. Oh God is using that woman. Oh God is using that man." But that is not the power of God. Evidence of God's power is when we can see men and women living like Jesus. They are living a holy life. They are living a righteous life. They are living a life free from sin. They are living a life free from immorality. They are living a life free from guilt. They are living a life free from iniquity. That is the power of God. Power of God. Power of God. That is the power of God. And today the Lord is using this thing, message to make you to come back home to make you to come back home stop chasing after wealth stop chasing after miracle stop chasing after miracle you are looking for here and there miracle comes to those that follow god bible said that these signs and wonder shall follow them that believe stop looking for this miracle bottle water ministry is everywhere olive oil ministry everywhere bottle water ministry everywhere rising and falling ministry everywhere and people keep on living in sin the more church is increasing the more people are living in sin the more every street is dominating with thai churches the more people are committing adultery the more people are committing immorality the more people are living in sin living in envy because they, they, we never understand what the power of god will achieve in our life we just focus that the power of God only achieve material things. Power of God only achieve things of this life. Power of God only achieve wealth. Power of God only achieve material resources, material things. But we forget that power of God, the authentic power of God, deals with the issue of sin. Any ministry, any power of God, anything we call power that has no power to make a sinner to convert and to become righteous is not the power of God. I have discovered that Satan can give money. Don't be deceived when, when, when many ministry prosper financially. They are giving testimony of wealth, giving testimony of financial blessing. Don't be carried away with those things. I saw it in the book of Jeremiah where Queen of Heaven was giving children of Israel money beyond measure. I saw it in the book of, in the book of Jeremiah chapter 44. Jeremiah chapter 44 verse 16 where the queen of heaven the spirit the demon called queen of heaven was busy giving people money giving people wealth and because of that they don't want to serve almighty God again and that is why God sent Jeremiah and said God tell them that they should stop worshipping idol and they will follow me the almighty God but when Jeremiah went there they said to Jeremiah we are not ready to follow the almighty God because when we as we are following queen of heaven that demon called queen of heaven we have everything in abundance. So we now understand that wealth and the material things can be provided by other means. Satan can provide it. So we cannot use it to value the authentic power of God. We value authentic power of God when we see a man, when we see a woman that is free from sin, when we see a woman, see a man that is living a sin-free life, congregation that is holy, that is sanctified unto God, congregation that is born again. That is the true power of God. That is the true power of God. And that is why God is calling us. God is calling every one of us to come to that stage. It's a glorious stage. It's a stage of blessing. It's a stage of favor. It's a stage of glory. It's a stage of blessing. God wants every one of us to come to that stage where every one of us will be holy unto God, where every one of us will be righteous, where every one of us will be holy. Because the power of prayer is not measured on the multitude of people that pray. Power of prayer does not measure on the multitude of people that are praying or how louder our voice may be. No. But prayer is not measured in that way. Prayer is measured by who is praying. Who is praying is the prayer more than the prayer the person is praying. Who is praying is the prayer more than the prayer the person is praying. So in the area of prayer, who is praying is the factor, is the main factor. I'm going to teach on that message about prayer. Because who is praying is the major factor in the area of prayer. It's not the prayer point the person is raising. Neither the shouting of that person, neither the demonstration of that person, no. But who is praying, that is the major thing in the area of prayer. So, when we continue living a life free from sin, 
That is the power of the Holy Ghost. Jesus lived a sin-free life. And God wants us to live a sin-free life. And in the name of Jesus, you that are watching this message, you will live a sin-free life. Help me to forward this message to your friends. Share this message as you are watching it so that other people can hear this truth. Share it, like it, comment it. And don't forget to subscribe or to follow this particular page or channel. God bless you. I love you. See you.